in this video we are going to talk about biodigester maintenance and what exactly we mean when we say you will have to maintain your biodigester whenever you are going to install a biodigester and i'm the one that's going to advise you what i explain to you is even though it's different from septic tanks or coverts what septic tanks and coverts need is to have them dislodge when it comes to biodigesters what we have is maintenance your biodigester has to be maintained for the lifespan in which you want it to last when you do install biodigesters you will need to have them maintained periodically periodic maintenance is needed for biodigesters in the sense that same as a septic tank or a culvert will need to be dislodged a biodigester will also have to be maintained for it to last that much for you so if you intend on installing a biodigester there are a few things that you need to know and one of them is that maintenance has to be done and what exactly do we mean when we say biodigester maintenance that's exactly what we are going to talk about in this video if you are new here subscribe for more videos like this one Actually, see, it's like there's a leak here, but there was no impact. And yes, will be the agro so and all that, nothing like that. Just, just like that. Yeah. How do we do maintenance? When you call us, there's a problem with your biodigester. Either the top slab has broken and the water has seeped into the digester, or it's not working well, or you can smell something, or you can see something outside the, the digester tank. And you give the installer a call when the installer shows up there they are going to take the lid off they are going to check the soak hole to see if it's still soaking water as supposed to or they will check the leche pipe to see if the pipe water the waste water is going where it's supposed to go when it comes to the digester bed what we do basically is to take the digester bed out if it's porous that was laid all the remains that will have gotten stuck on the porous bed Will be taken out including the net or the fiber net on it will have been taken out and then the new materials will be laid a new net will have to be laid you will also check to see if the porous has has lost its um its firmness then probably you have to change that one as well but if it's still firm it's only the fiber net that will have to be changed and then new coconut husk or hay or fiber or anything that you use for the digester bed Will just have to be laid and then it can be sold back for use so basically that's the maintenance that you do for biodigesters that's why we say with biodigesters your peace of mind is assured one of the reason is that a maintenance unless it's really a big problem it shouldn't take an installer more than 30 minutes or one hour to do maintenance and then you are back to using your digester as it's supposed to be unless there's a problem with the soak away which means that a different soak away will have to be dug or the first soak away has got a problem and then the second soak away will have to be dug for another pipe to be connected from the other side into the digester then that's why they might take you an hour or two to have the maintenance done but if it's only a problem with the bed in terms of the biodegradable materials or there are some stuffs inorganic materials that die in the digester it's really a short period and then it can be done and then you are back to using your digester this is dream house by digesters if you are new to this channel consider subscribing for videos like this that explains how this biodegradable waste by digesters work subscribe to this channel if you are very active on instagram at dreamhouse by digesters our website dreamhouse by digesters.com is also active you can go there and check some of our videos and the type of by digesters that we have for homeowners thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye bye